Hello everyone, this is Cornel Burzo Sevendan, one of the teachers of Porgote.com platform and recently we have a new feature called Middle Game Go Lessons where students can enroll and improve their middle game stage uh, skills through our teacher's guidance. In this video I'd like to share with you a few concepts and ideas that you can uh, consider during the middle game stage or Chuban which uh, in my opinion is the toughest part of a Go game. So uh, for this reason I've chosen uh, two of my uh, tournament games played uh, last year and one uh, top professional game played recently to discuss uh, a few local examples. So in this game uh, we have, a po in this position we have a game uh, against Alexander Dinerstein, one of the top European uh, professionals and it's White's turn. And of course, uh, White is interested in uh, building the right side or increasing and playing a move like uh, Q5 is quite urgent because it's uh, threatening the cut at P3 and also it's going to develop the right side. But before playing that, I decided to invade the top to check my opponent's reaction. So this is a concept called uh, Yozumiru where you play a pro move and you see uh, your opponent's reaction and then you continue uh, accordingly and in this case uh, the plan is not to uh, live inside uh, Black's territory but I, I just want to force him to uh, play many moves and get an over concentrated formation and uh, uh, with those forcing moves become strong on the outside in order to uh, build the right side. So let's see how uh, Black reacted here. So he covers, he's trying to, to capture the stone and then we make this exchange which is uh, center for white and then uh, white decides to, to use the idea of uh, n17 bait so what happens here uh, black goes for the capture but white is happy with all these outside forcing moves because uh, black is uh, getting into a heavy formation first of all there's an empty triangle here then one empty triangle here and black is still uh, pushed around to capture the two stones. So all these moves were center for white, black became a korigatachi or over concentrated and now white can come back to uh, develop the right side. Now here I decided to push and cover but actually it's good enough to play a three space extension. Now before trying all this maneuver in order to set up the, the right side moyo, uh, white can also consider to attack the top left corner at d18 or c14. So I wasn't sure which is the move to uh, go for and I thought it's better to decide later in the game. That's also an important concept to keep in mind. Don't ruin your options too early. Uh, now during the game uh, black uh, tries to reduce the right side and well white is still kind of safe and after this fight the game uh, became or proceed quite peacefully and white won by 10 points and a half. So I think one of the most critical uh, moments of the game was the way to, to deal with the right side. And in general in middle game there's, uh, there are always uh, positions where it's tough to decide what to do, whether to invade or attack or create a target and so on. So uh, let's check the next uh, position. Uh, this is a game played against Rovan Zeiss, one of the uh, European, uh, uh, former European champion. And I think I have to go back a few moves here. So yeah, we are at this stage of the game where actually it's uh, very big for white to extend at M3 in order to expand the bottom side and uh, limit uh, the lower right corner uh, potential. But uh, in, in middle game, it's quite important to locate uh, targets and this means to, to check for weak groups and start chasing them in order to play actively and develop the position further on. So I decided to play uh, S17, which is a key point, trying to remove the base and chase the group out into the middle. So if this group is running in this direction, white gets all kind of moves in the center and maybe uh, even separate the other group which is quite thin in the top so my opponent found a pretty nice move to uh, 
uh, dodge in the top right. Well, first of all, uh, black took the call. Then he played this attach. Now, this is a very uh, nice response. Instead of just connecting solid, which creates a, a heavy formation. Now, the idea of this move is to uh, allow the, the cut, then black captures the core, and if white connects and doesn't fight the core, black will simply go down and capture the two stones. Because when white turns, black can just block and capture everything. So, R14 is setting up this capture. If black tries to capture or plays other move, for example, M3 then white can atari and the capture won't work because the turn it's impossible to block for, for black. So here uh, we have the the core running for a while. Of course white resists in the fight then black makes some eye shape and now we continue the core because there are lots of points in the corner and this way if uh, black loses the eyes he's still forced to uh, run into the center and probably just escape on neutral points which is generally good for you if your opponent has to do that so here we continue with the call for a little while there are cotrets on both sides and now black has to, to continue the fight on the bottom side because if black captures the call white can discard the top stone and play a double atari because the position on the bottom gets much stronger than uh, black's uh, capture in the top. I mean, black will live in the top, but uh, playing the double atari on the bottom gives white uh, more potential to develop uh, further in the game. So black is forced to follow up here. And again, we have a sacrifice uh, going on. And white is playing a tesuji. White can also cut right away. Because black's only option is to play Atari, then when go out, push, block, and we end up pretty much with the same uh, position like in the game. But playing this move, uh, it's quite stylish. So if black simply connects, white will cover, and now black loses the, the semi, the race, the capturing race. So black had to play a counter Suji, this kind of attach to expand the liberties. Then white cuts, block in center. And now white can eliminate the call and finish the fight in the top right corner for now. Well, black is still on the run. But in the middle, there's nothing to worry about because if black comes out and turns, white will still capture these stones. So uh, this was probably the most critical fight of the game. And then we continue the game in a pretty peaceful manner. And eventually... Uh, white won by resignation. I think when black resigned, uh, white was about 7-8 points ahead. So a pretty comfortable lead. But it's good to remember that in general, in middle game, you should look for a target. And once you locate one of your opponent's uh, weak group, you, you can chase it and get something out of it. Set up a co-fight and uh, compensate somewhere else on the board sometimes or simply win the call and uh, make some profit locally. Now, the next game I'd like to show you. This is a game played uh, recently between two of the top uh, Japanese uh, young professional players, Shibano Toramoro and Ichiri Kirio. Uh, they are the most prolific uh, Go players recently in Japan and always present in the uh, big stages or the last stages of the big tournaments like Kisei title or uh, Honimbo, Oza and so on. Uh, what happens here, when white played the move in the center at M12, he's trying to secure eye shape for his uh, center dragon, but black came up with a brilliant plan, so this was quite astonishing. He pushed on the left side, and now he's actually ruining his own liberties. He's got only two liberties, so the group can be captured, but he plays an Atari, then he cuts in the middle and comes out, now white uh, is going for the capture and all black does here is sacrifice the group on the left side which is uh, pretty hard to uh, give up those stones especially for Q players in general they don't want to uh, leave any soldiers behind and then he goes for the uh, a very severe attack in the center 
So Black's plan was to give up those guys in order to strengthen the position in the middle and uh, be able to, to kill the dragon. So in the next few moves he managed to uh, take away White's eye shape and this was a spectacular way to win the game. White tried hard to uh, create a second eye, but so far he only got one in the center. And it's impossible to set up the second one. So at this stage, White resigned the game. As you can see in the center, uh, Black played this move. Because if White tries to cut, there's a double Atari and Black can just leave on the bottom if he gets separated in the center. So Black had the backup plan. Well, I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial on uh, middle game. And uh, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and all the best.